Idea the second. Um, of course, this is my backlit Neo Geo pocket color. This kit does have brightness control, but I'm not really fond of having the sensor right up here. It is not only in a horrible spot, but of course now it's not working at all. There it goes. But since this is a clear shell, it looks horrible. I'm thinking someone else gave me this idea and I really like it. I want to try it out. We're going to try and put that sensor right under the SNK logo and see what happens. That should work. Hopefully it'll work. I have uh, low expectations and high hopes or something like that, however that goes. Fire up the soldering iron because I will definitely need it. So these things are super easy to take apart, only if you have the right screwdriver, which I don't think I have. I will be right back. Alright, I do have, just not at my desk. There are five Phillips screws around the periphery and then one tri-point screw. Because, you know, they wanted a little bit of hardware intrusion protection, I guess. Whatever you want to call it. They just didn't want to fork over the all tri wing screws. Right. So, unfortunately, I have to solder to take mine apart or desolder in this case. I'm looking for tweezers and they're right there. On some consoles, the speaker itself is, uh, the glue holding it in isn't very strong, so you can just pull it out. Uh, on mine, that is not the case. I'm just going to add a little bit more solder to these contacts to uh, refresh them. A little bit. Okay. I'm not going to solder over. I am all thumbs today. Alright, now I need to remove these two screws here. Two Phillips. Oh, I'm forgetting something. I always forget this with Neo Geo Pocket Cooler. You got to remove. Uh, thumb stick here. I usually just jam a spudger in here and pry up. Right. And some of these, there's anywhere from one to three screws holding the motherboard in. This console, I think, came with two. rip that off here so I don't care for it flip this over this way we're going to desolder this and get a new new one in here So, of course, I'm not prepared for this video. Oh, just kidding! I'm talking shit about myself, and I already did grab the copper tape. So this touch sensor is literally just a piece of copper tape with a wire soldered to it. So I'm going to cut off a strip of my copper tape here, solder my own wire to it. I'm going to use, of course I don't have any green wire, so I'm going to use blue Kynar wire. Uh, this is 30 gauge, but I don't really think that's important. 
hope it's not important at least. And before I stick it down, I'm going to solder the wire to it. Because I don't want to accidentally melt the shell of the console. And I was very concerned that solder would not stick to this. Concerned for not, as it were. But that's it. There we go. That looks better. Get the backing. There we go. All right, I think that should be long enough. Hopefully, this touch sensor isn't affected by the length of the wire. Like, I hope there's not some sort of weird capacitance thing that is affected by how long this wire is. Probably good, but just in case. Not perfect. I couldn't get it over the whole logo without trimming, but I think that should be good enough. Let's screw this thing down and test it out, huh? this works, I'm doing this with all of my Game Boy Colors as well. Well, my one Game Boy Color that has a touch sensor. But I'm going to be picking up another one of those kits pretty soon for another Game Boy Color. By the way, I recently learned the kit that I installed on that Midnight Blue Game Boy Color with the touch sensor. That is, while it's true, that is the all-in-one, there is considered the all-in-one or AIO V1 kit. Apparently those were never really meant to be sold. And what was meant to be sold are the all-in-one V2 kits, which do not have that frame dropping issue that I noticed. Ugh. Well, it's a good thing I only got one screw in. <laughs> that screw I dropped fell right into the battery compartment. Just sitting on the motherboard. There we go. This 
suppose I don't need to put all the screws in to test it out, but whatever. At this point, we're nearly there anyhow. So that still works. That's a good sign. And the sensor works. I like them apples. That is so much better than having it up there. I think we'll put this thing in English. Date and time. What is it? October 11. already 2019 and time it is 1034 p.m. we'll call it 35 But uh, there you go. So yeah, for future installs, I think uh, that's the key right there. Put the sensor under the logo. Um, maybe not necessarily so great for the clear shells, but for the opaque shells, that's got to be that's got to be a cool trick you can you can show all two of your friends. Anyway. If y'all have any other ideas, let me know. I think this was super cool. Someone actually proposed this in the comments of one of my videos, probably when I originally backlit this thing. Uh, I think that's where I saw it. Um, if so, you know who you are. Thank you. That was a super cool idea. Um, any more ideas? I am all ears. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.